there's this theme of opposites and that yeah. tension comes up in many places in your book. Mm. And, and one of the most um, dramatic, and it, it feels like a theme repeated through leadership across generations, mm -hmm. is patriotism or not patriotism. Yeah, yeah. Love America or damn America. Right. And Douglas, and, both. And, and, and both. And how do you understand his holding of that space yeah. for yeah. both? He's channeling the country. He's challenging the country right. to be its best self. Right. He also leaves the country like right. a lot of good Americans do right. and from the outside says, shame on you, right. how dare you, right. a pox on your house, right. and hates yeah. the country yeah. deeply. Yeah. How does he hold that together? He loved and hated America. Yeah. depends on when you ask. Because it's a familiar feeling. It's a very familiar thing uh, throughout our history. Um, he loved the creeds. He loved the Declaration of Independence, yeah. the principles. He loved the words. He loved the words, and he loved the four first principles of the Declaration of Independence, and he knew what they were. He never been to a school where he had to recite it, but he read it. He loved the natural rights tradition. In fact, now there are all sorts of political philosophers who, who write about Douglas as a great proponent of, of the natural rights tradition borrowed from the Enlightenment that he applies to the 19th century. Meaning, meaning rights that we are born with like precious ore from the earth. Inalienable. But, inalienable. Yeah. But hypocrisy became his subject. It's the great subject of the 4th of July mm -hmm. speech. It's the great subject of his famous slaveholder sermon speech. Uh, it was his favorite subject. The way America has built itself on creeds and violates them.